This is going to be a fairly short video on how to flash CyanogenMod 10.1 Android 4.2.2 on the HTC One. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is hold down the volume down and power button for a few seconds until you see a white boot screen or uh, bootloader. And then you'll simply press the volume down button to get into recovery and you'll press power again and it'll launch your Torp recovery. From here, you can go to backup and you can choose I recommend choosing boot, data, and system. I highly recommend setting a backup name, preferably like if you have Viper ROM installed, name it Viper ROM. That way you, when you're going to restore your Android, you know which one's which instead of just a date and you're restoring nine different backups just to find out, you know, just to get to a certain one. And then enable compression to save space, swipe to backup. Once you backup, go to wipe and then choose this option right here and it'll do a factor reset. I also recommend going to advanced wipe, choosing system, and then wiping that as well. The ROM is actually located on this flash drive, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there now. Now I'm going to choose back, I'm going to go back again, back again, go to install, and then I'm going to choose my USB OTG, press back. And then I'm going to find the ROM, which is right here. CM 10.1 M7WLS, add more zips. Also, you need the G apps, which I can link to also. Whoops. So let's try that again. CM 10.1, add more zips. G apps JB, right there. And then swipe to flash. I don't know why it says one of three. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I accidentally just chose the G apps twice, no big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and press reboot system. And we should see the Science and Mod logo. Da 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 da. Hell yeah, baby. Science and Mod 10.1 Android 4.2.2 on my favorite newest phone out there right now if you don't flash those g apps when you get in there it's not going to ask you for a google account because you won't have the play store or anything so you'll have to flash sign on 10.1 and then immediately after that flash the g apps so set It's picking up the 5 gigahertz network. That's very nice. And it wants me to sign into Google. So far, so good. So just go ahead and press that. And it's going to restore all of our like Wi-Fi access points. Uh, should do bookmarks, etc. as well. And then finish. As always, to get rid of the... Well, they don't have it anymore up there. One thing I'll, you'll notice right off the bat is there is no menu button. It's so simple. Press the HTC logo, and there's your settings. You can go to My Apps, and then I can stop all these from downloading, and bam. So you should be able to go to Settings... system so you can set custom actions by tapping that and then pressing like the menu key does which certain things I like choosing circle with percentage so it gives you a little number letting you know how good your battery is this is pretty cool you can actually enable volume rocker right wake where when you turn the device on, you can just use the volume down button and kind of like Samsung, the power button's on the side. So there you go, you don't have to actually reach all the way to the top to unlock it. Enable rotation in all degrees so you can have it upside down. That's about it. Oh, to have developer options, just go to about phone and then go to your build number and keep tapping on it. Now when you go back, You'll see developer options right there, 
and you can enable USB debugging if you so choose to, which Titanium Backup will want you to. And you do have the performance option. The maximum at the moment is 1700. Remember, this is a nightly, so it may not be there just yet. Like it, it may, there may be more options in the future. And that's about it. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have many more videos in the HTC One, Galaxy S4, future devices like the Note 3, and devices that I currently still have. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I also have two other YouTube channels, one where I post commentaries and one where I post videos from my front-facing camera on my HTC One. And I also have a Twitch account for those of you that want to see me live stream. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.